Civil War and Reconstruction in 1877, the country was set on a mission to become an industrial power. During the war in 1856, Frederick Winslow Taylor, a Quaker, was born in Germantown, Pennsylvania. He was born into a wealthy family that led to his attendance at Phillips Exeter Academy. Here, his teacher, Bull Wentworth, used math to determine how to optimize child development. These methods may have motivated Taylor's study of this in college. He was accepted to Harvard, but never went. Instead, he got an engineering degree at Stevens Institute of Technology in New York and worked at Midville Steel Company. Working with this company, he found that paying workers hourly was ineffective, as those workers would do less for longer. Frederick Taylor is known for having started scientific management, or Taylorism. The idea is that science can be applied to create the best work environment and increase productivity. Taylor used time studies to decide how to accomplish the highest form of efficiency. The main points that were enforced following these studies were the training of workers, workers' rights to unionize, and the division of work amongst management. Prior to Taylorism, most companies and factories hired skilled workers, people who have experience and advanced knowledge. In the late 1800s, the immigrant population was rising as well as the amount of unemployed and uneducated people. While knowledgeable workers were nice, they were becoming less and less of a reality for the booming economy. When Taylor started the practice of time studies, he proved that easy, quick tasks done by trained workers over a large span of tasks was better than one long task done by a few educated people. The value of cheap labor and the need for it grew. With this idea, low-paid laborers with little education could make it in America and business grew. Along with a shift in labor, people wanted to be safe and compensated at work. Unions were created. Taylor believed that for industry to boom, unions will correct and control their growth or cut it off if it does not comply. Thus, a form of checks and balances was created. Unions were supported by many progressive reformers, including Teddy Roosevelt. In 1890, Taylor began work for the Manufacturing Investment Company, where he created the profession of management consultant. He also worked for steel companies and created the Taylor White System for heating steel. He was elected president of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Frederick W. Taylor died in 1915 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He wrote The Principles of Scientific Management, which changed the American Industrial Society. The ideas of scientific management have spread through all society and have rooted themselves in unlikely places. Critical of such ideals, a professor of the Education Department wrote an essay called Scientific Management Still Endures in Education, which highlights how today's our schools operate closely to the way Taylor wanted the industrial workplace to function. A quote from that essay, the No Child Left Behind Act and more recently Race to the Top programs are examples of such support by federal policy. Today, the, these intermediaries continue to serve as external experts who promote schools' use of measurable outcomes, standardized processes, and observable, quantifiable indicators of test-based effectiveness. Taylorism first helped America become an economic power. Now it has allowed for competitive education with the world and provides a way to, to increase output. Starting with the industrialization of America and our competition for economic power on the world stage and ending with a country that uses statistics to get the best out of every institution. The desire to improve has been seen throughout history. Frederick Taylor's movement towards a more efficient workplace is a prime example. The Roaring Twenties, the Great Depression, and even our standardized tests are all due to the revolutionary idea that may not seem like much, but truly changed America. If there's anything that stood the test of time and will continue to, it's Taylorism.